Today is August 27th, and this is your One Minute News. RNC Convention Night 3 was last night. Chinese dissident Chang Guancheng calls the CCP an enemy of humanity. Madison Cawthorn stands up from his wheelchair and says, For our republic, for which I stand, one nation, under God, with liberty and justice for all. Clarence Henderson says, If you do not vote for Trump, then you don't know your history. Kellyanne Conway says Trump is an advocate for women as she is the first woman to lead a president to victory. Vice President Mike Pence finishes off the night calling Biden a Trojan horse for the radical left, also saying you won't be safe in a Joe Biden America. Trump joined Pence at the end of the night with cheers for four more years. More video of the 17-year-old gunman in Kenosha comes to light, which you might want to consider watching so you can come to your own conclusion. And the media do everything they can to dig up everything on the 17-year-old kid, including finding him at a MAGA rally in January. Kenosha last night erupted in chaos and rioting. Attorney General in Wisconsin says police recovered a knife at the driver's side door of Jacob Black's car. Category 4 Hurricane Laura slams Louisiana with 150 mile an hour winds. NBA players postpone their playoff game. LeBron wants to end the season. China has launched two medium-range missiles into the South China Sea as a warning after seeing a spy plane fly into a no-fly zone. And today in history, in 1776, British forces defeat the Patriots in the Battle of Brooklyn. All right, you can have that one, boys. (laughs) And that is your One Minute News. Thank you guys for listening to the One Minute News. It's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday, thank God. I am over this week. I don't know if this has been a long week for you, but it has been for moi. I hope you guys have a fantastic Thursday. And as always, get your bonus questions in for the Friday bonus edition episode. Um, I'm thinking about just making my Friday episode just a bonus and not having a One Minute News. I don't know. What do you guys think? Email me at the one minute news at gmail.com or you can contact me on any social media platform, including commenting below on this video. Or if you're watching, listening on podcasts, email me the one minute news at gmail.com. I'd be happy to answer any question for the bonus edition. Have a fantastic day. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow morning for another edition of the One Minute News.